Autism is what we call a neurodevelopmental condition, which means something happens early on in development to make the brain develop differently. We don't know enough about the genetics and the neuroscience of autism, so we diagnose based on behaviours, and that's the presence of social and communication difficulties, as well as the presence of restricted and repetitive behaviours. One of the challenges that we have with autism is that we don't typically diagnose autism until about three or four years of age, and that's when we start our therapies. But anyone who's watched a child develop language knows that those first two years of life are so important. Those brain building years are really the foundation for future development. What we wanted to do with this research is identify babies right from the first year of life and provide support from that time with our grand aim of providing support that can reduce long-term disability across their life course. This research took place in Perth and Melbourne. We recruited around 100 babies who were developing a little bit differently to what we typically expect at 12 months of age. Around half of those babies received our new therapy and the other half received community usual care. We then assessed those babies again at 18, 24 and 36 months of age to understand how that early therapy may have affected their development across early childhood. The therapy uses what we call video feedback, which is where we use the power of video technology to help provide families insights into the unique abilities of their babies. We then provide families with strategies with how to communicate with their babies to use those unique abilities as strengths and the foundation for future brain development. So when we assessed all of those babies at age three, we found that the babies who'd received our early intervention had reduced social and communication difficulties. This meant that we had reduced autism diagnoses by two thirds in that group. Importantly, we also found improvements in parent reported language outcomes, which shows that we're actually improving broader developmental outcomes as well. This intervention is about identifying, nurturing and celebrating individual difference right from the very earliest moments of life. Our aim is to understand each child's unique strengths and challenges so we can better support and nurture those unique abilities that they bring to this world. This is an important step forward in what we think is a critical opportunity to develop new clinical models that identify babies showing early signs of autism and provide very early intervention to support their longer term development and ultimately help each and every baby reach their full potential.